Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an application role in database of SQL Server. We'll be using two methods using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. Uh, usually when we create application role uh, in database of SQL Server, uh, they are for those application who like to manage their own security. They want it to be independent of uh, SQL Server security, and we would like them to just go ahead and uh, access certain uh, tables in a database, and maybe not all the object of the database. Whatever the object that application is concerned about, we give uh, explicitly uh, permission to those objects uh, rather than the whole database and uh, again these are uh, the application not such as uh, uh, web um, websites and etc these are not for those application they are for static application in your organization where user come in that particular application and they don't have to do the authentication and authorization they will be added in a particular uh, security table that application manage in in SQL Server database and um, after they uh, after we create application role and those certain user can access uh, based on their security in that particular table and based on the uh, role that um, uh, all the objects that we added in SQL Server database uh, and you will see it in a second that that way you have much more control that what application can do in a database in SQL Server so let's go and do that here's my uh, SQL Server, I'm connected with Management Studio, TBS client, Tech, Tech Brothers client, and SQL Server Mirror is my SQL Server instance. And uh, the application role that I want to create in a database is called Sales Order. So I'm going to expand that database. And you need to go and expand security. And up here you will see the roles. And when you expand roles, you will see two kind of roles. Uh, database role and application roles we in previous demo we have completed database roles in this demo we're going to go ahead and create application roles as far as uh, SQL Server concerns that how to create an application role and there isn't much um, difference between creating database role and application role however application role when you create that you have to specify the password uh, which you can um, put in application config file and that way that application uh, can access the application role so we're gonna go ahead and um, create application role right click new role and first thing that you need to do is name your role uh, application I'm gonna go go ahead app data reader this is my role and default schema anything if we allow this application to go ahead and create objects in this particular database then we need to provide default schema if we provide default schema right here it's going to go ahead and use that schema any table any object database object that this application will create in this particular database will be in that schema let's say that uh, we go ahead and do dbo up here so anytime a, a table is uh, created by the application let's say that's table one uh, that table would be dbo dot table one if you have created a user defined schema for this particular application then you can go ahead and define that so I'm going to go ahead and give the default schema DBO so all the tables I want this application to go ahead and create the tables if it wanted to create the table in DBO schema up here you need to give the password so make sure that you uh, give strong password And if you wanted uh, this uh, particular role to own any schema right here, you can choose that. Uh, usually, uh, if it's it's not really required because if this application role uh, gets hold of a DB owner, then uh, when you uh, it's all, all the the schema owner, the app data reader um, will become the schema owner of DB owner right here so uh, sometimes it's it's best idea to just uh, leave it alone or uh, once you if you don't define any uh, schema owned by this uh, particular uh, app data reader then app data reader the name role name become will become its own schema 
so next thing we need to do is go in skewable skewables are the one uh, that you can add database object uh, for this particular role database objects such as database tables views store procedure function all that that you wanted to give permission this particular role you wanted to give permission to this particular role the objects of database you can add them right here and I'm going to show you just in a second click on search and I want specific objects I don't want this application uh, data reader role to access the whole database I just want specific objects so I'm going to go ahead and check that and I'm going to go ahead and select the objects type such as table store procedure function etc so I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to go ahead and select the tables only that's what I want and I in the tables I want those specific tables for this data I don't want really this application reader to go ahead and uh, have permission on all the tables on this database so I'm going to select certain tables I'm going to go ahead and click OK when you click on browse it'll give you the table list so in in here we have five tables so we would like to give four and five that's uh, these are the tables we want this role to have and uh, all the manipulation selecting updating whatever the permission we give will be only on these two tables it will not touch customer two and three it will touch however uh, four and five so we're gonna go ahead and click OK OK now it's selected uh, as you can see the selected tables right here so it's time to give permission what kind of permission that you wanted to give let me quickly tell you what these permissions means when you grant a permission that means it's allowed to do uh, one of these permission if you grant such as select then it's um, it can select the, the data in the table grant with if you click on grant with that means it this particular application role and all the users in this role will be able to select the data as well as it th those users will be able to give permission to other users they don't need DBA at that time if you do a grant with you are telling those users okay go ahead you can um, uh, give permission uh, to this particular role to other users so that's what grant uh, with grant means if you click on deny deny means no you cannot do any of this um, I'm not sure that why you know if uh, if you don't have a grant that particular user uh, will be able to just kind of view it but not select the data uh, but if you deny it that the particular user uh, really will not be able to even see those tables so we're gonna go ahead and use the grant so let's give permission select we're gonna go ahead and update give update permission and view definition that means that uh, it can look at the code of these two tables so schema of these two tables and code of these two tables so we're gonna go ahead and click on view definition so we're gonna go ahead we're done with our modifications whatever the tables objects we're going to add so we're gonna go ahead we, we went ahead and did that we're gonna go ahead click OK and as you can see right here the app data uh, reader application role is created so this is how you create application data uh, reader role or application role in a database of SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio a graphic user interface now we're gonna go ahead and delete this particular app data reader and uh, we're gonna go ahead and create the same role using T SQL script so I'm gonna go ahead right click and delete keep in mind that if this particular role is owner of any of the um, uh, up here the, the roles is going to uh, schemas I'm sorry is going to give us error that oh okay it is owner of one of these schemas right here so I am I cannot we, you cannot drop this particular role so we're gonna go ahead since we didn't select any owner we're gonna go ahead and click OK and it'll be able to delete so let's go ahead and load our script I have already the script 
So this is our script. As you can see that this is the password that we provided and alter authorization DB reader um, up here. I'm going to go ahead and not basically give any, um, I do not make app reader the owner of DB reader schema. So I'm going to take that out. So um, it's going to go ahead and grant select permission on customer three. It's going to uh, do the right now in this particular um, uh, script. It's only going to give permission on customer underscore three table. It's, um, you can add more table if you want to, but this is going to give select permission and it's going to give update permission on customer three. So we're going to go ahead and run this. As you can see, the uh, command completed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and go in our role and refresh the application role and see if it's created. Right here is created. If you wanted to take a look, go to properties and see right here. And here is that customer three table. So basically, this is how you create application role in a database of a SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio and T-SQL script. I hope this video helps.